course I'm turning it on. Two people up here, unidentified. This girl yelling something about the YouTube shit. Yeah, apparently you don't know much about the situation. Or you're a part of it. One or the other. Of course I'm going to turn it on. Actually, I believe you're on private property. That belongs to whatever that uh, that business over there is. City manhole cover, bro. You don't know what's going on, do you? This is a city manhole I'm standing on. Uh, I believe it's private property. You're back from the road 20 feet. Fucking manhole, you dumb motherfucker. Yeah. You want to come up here and test it? I didn't think so. Go back to your business like I fucking told you. Uh. We'll see about that. Where'd you come from? Are you from that business? Your mom's house. Where'd you come from? Ah. Uh. Where'd you come from? Why are you threatening the children of this area and Elisa Miguel? Elisa Vieja. You don't think that the community is going to stand behind the people and the children of this area? It looks like you've been talking to the pedophile. Dude, I don't know anybody. I know you're standing on a fucking corner asking for money, handing, holding a fucking cell phone. I don't know about any fucking pedophile. I don't know about anything else other than the fact that you threaten children and people fucking don't listen to you. I don't care if you're a fucking disabled person. I don't care if you're a fucking veteran. Nobody threatens the children of our country. Yeah, you're the exact type of person who'll be out here threatening me for being a fugitive I, child molester like the Trovergate you, Mafia you is always saying. I'm standing here watching you. I'm standing here watching you. I didn't threaten you. I'm not threatening you. I have every right to stand here, right here on this manhole. That's what I'm telling you. This manhole has watched you illegally panhandling. And you know what? Come back here again and I see you during the day, and I'm not at my fucking job like you should be, you piece of shit. I'll stand right in front of you all fucking day long on your YouTube channel saying what a piece of shit you are and not what you really are. And the next time you call somebody a fucking nigger at the 99 cent store, I hope that bitch knocks you the hell out. Yeah, I'm fucking calling you on fucking YouTube, bitch. So what's your name? Shit. Which one are you? Which one am I? The yeah, there's a multitude. I couldn't guess. Sorry, what was it? I'm sorry, what? I didn't hear you. I I spoke over you. What what were you saying? I said go about your fucking business. Yeah, no, seriously, which troll money. are you? Hop along, bro. Hop along. You ain't gonna do shit in this fucking community. The people of this community, that's why I stood here for the last 45 minutes to an hour and watched you not get shit on this fucking border. Because there's a community fucking logout that's watching over you and telling all these fucking people that drive by you not to give you shit. So stand on that fucking corner. I hope you're there fucking on Saturday morning. I'll be standing right in front of you, as legal as fuck as I can, telling people not to give you money to ensure that you fucking are homeless for the rest of your life. Oh yeah, you sound like a Trover Gay Mafia member. Oh, come on, dude. What's your name, though, coward? My name? Why does it matter? What's your name? I don't even know your name, bro. Of course you know my name if you've been talking to the Trover Gay Mafia. You probably got my social security number and bank account information. <laughs> Names are important. Your alias, your tag, whatever you call it. What you said is important. What you said about the children of this community is important. My name is not important. Your name is not important. You don't mean shit to me and I don't mean shit to you. The fact of the matter is, you're just another piece of shit trying to earn a quick buck on a fucking street corner. And our community's sick and tired of it. You can videotape me all day long. You're 
you run out of storage, bro. I got all fucking nice. But guess what? No, do you want I got your fucking rights. income. I can stand right here and I'm making money right now. Mm. You're the one that's gonna fucking stand here and lose out. Not that you've made anything all night anyway. So if I'm doing something totally legal, maybe you should go to your fucking corner, you little whore, and fucking call the police. You know, that might be a good idea. That is a good idea. Why don't you do that? Because I'm just waiting for him to show up. Yeah. Um, I hate to get the camera right off. There, bro. He's waiting for you. Hurry. Run. Maybe he'll give you a buck. Probably not. He'll probably drive on the other side of the street to avoid your ass. Yeah, uh, again, I hate to cut the camera off, but I do need to, to fucking call the cops. Who's the chick of shit now? Talking under your breath? Yeah. I need a second fucking phone. Of course, I'll cut it on a second and start running. How do I do that phone call? Mm -hmm. Just standing here fucking watching you like you're watching everybody else, bro. On a public phone.